to this week's edition of the Weekly Ruffle. I'm Kristen. And I'm Jamie. And this week we're going to be talking about meetup etiquette because we are about to go out and see Beetlejuice at um, the local dine-in theater. So we thought it would be a great opportunity to talk about what's okay to do at a meetup and what's not so okay and maybe give you a few um, tips on how to be confident the first time you go to a meetup if you haven't been before. So, um, the first thing on our list is mind your surroundings. Um, you definitely want to think about the area you're in as to how you sort of conduct um, your manners. For example, if you're in a small space, please use your inside voice. Um, even if you're really, really excited to see all of your Lolita friends, it's probably not a good idea to shout across the table at them. Um, but that really goes pretty much for any social, social situation. gathering. <laughs> so definitely just follow the same rules. It's really just a meet up with a bunch of your friends, even if you've never really met these people before. They're going to be your friends if you keep going to meetups, so... Because we are all in this together, really. <laughs> um, we also have, in terms of kind of like speaking with all of your new or recurring Lolita friends, um, if you are talking about something, keep your conversations kind of on topic. Um, it can be really, really exciting when everyone's there all together and you just want to talk about everything all at the same time and get everything out, but, you know, one thing at a time. Just get one topic, get to another topic. I mean, you guys can hang out for who knows how long. Like, we've had meetups that are like four and five hours long before and it's just, you know, you're going to meet people and they are going to become your friends most likely. So, you know, you'll have plenty of time with them to get all your topics covered. That and I think something that a lot of girls I've seen have asked is, do you just talk about the lead up when you're out in a meetup? We talk about everything when we're out, so it's not just, if you don't know every name of every print, you don't need to feel worried about going out to a meetup. Sure, we do talk about it, and we ask each other, like, oh, what are you wearing? Like, where did you get that? What shopping service did you use? And stuff like that. But generally, we're just friends, and we just hang out, and we happen to dress up at the same time. Um, so... I wouldn't, if you're not an elite Lolita and you don't have your little, you know, Lolita Bible with you, it's going to be okay. <laughs> you will be fine, trust us. Um, on the same topic, kind of with that, you don't have to feel any kind of pressure in terms of acting different when you're in Lolita. Some girls do feel different wearing it. I don't. I, I'm the exact same in Lolita as outside of Lolita. If you were to come see me at work during the day, I'm going to treat you exactly the same there as I would wearing this stuff. I'm going to be the exact same person. I, I just don't. I treat people all the same no matter what I'm wearing. Um, you shouldn't, I mean, just definitely don't feel pressured to be like, oh, well, I have to treat so-and-so differently now because I'm wearing this. You don't, just be yourself, you know? I mean, like I said, these people are going to become your friends and they're going to want to see you for you. So be yourself and just don't be scared for any reason. You definitely don't have to be. That being said, it is wise to um, keep in mind the beliefs and values of other people. Again, it's a social gathering, so you're going to be in a group of mixed people with all sorts of ideas from everything to, you know, how much you should swear in public to <laughs> whether they prefer brand to replica. So just be mindful that you should probably consider what you're going to say before you say it unless you're really, really close to these people. Mm -hmm. If it's your best friend, you're going to act differently around them than you would with a group of strangers. So just keep that in consideration. You wouldn't want to offend anyone on your first meetup and then not be invited back because that would be pretty lonely. So, As far as planning meetups goes, um, if someone's asking for ideas for a meetup, it's totally fine to suggest ideas or say, you know, I know this great restaurant, maybe we could go there afterwards or, sort, or things along those lines. However, it's not polite to take someone else's meetup and make it yours. So for example, if a girl was like, hey, do you all want to go see such and such movie on such and such day? Once a bunch of people say, you know, yeah, that'd be great, blah, 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 it wouldn't be very polite to say, oh, instead let's go see this other movie, or instead let's go roller skating, or whatever <laughs> else. You know, that meetup's already in progress. The hostess probably has some reason she wants to go do this, and to take her meetup would be like taking her party. Like, you don't want to take someone's birthday party. That's, that's pretty rude. So, 
Yeah, if, if someone's asking for advice on maybe an occasion, like I know recently we were saying, you know, oh, what should we do for the Halloween meetup? Um, and we tossed around a few different ideas um, and we ended up going to see this movie tonight, Beetlejuice, because it was just kind of really easy and convenient <laughs> for everyone. Um, so, you know, but that would be a great idea to say, hey, maybe we should do this or maybe we should do that because it hadn't been planned. But if it's already in progress, it's really not nice to just flip that all around and make it your meetup. And what you could always do as well is if there is one really good idea in progress and there's another good idea that someone shares, plan another meetup, who cares? If you plan it a week from the one that's being planned, two weeks later, a month later, that is one more chance to get together with everybody, one more chance to dress up and one more chance to have fun. So why not plan a second one? Yeah, definitely. And we've found that using Facebook and their event planning is really, really easy because then you can find out, you know, like who thinks they're going to go and what time it is and when it is and all of those sorts of things. Like you can even add on the map on there, like where it's going to be. So that's really convenient if you're trying to invite a bunch of people that you maybe don't have all of their instant messengers of people who oh, yeah. still do that <laughs> and all of that sort of stuff. So that's a really great way. We have our own Facebook group um, and everything, so it's just really convenient that way. I've seen some girls do it through forums as well. Mm -hmm. So just um, think about what's easiest for your group, um, what you all use the most. Um, we're always on Facebook, so that's where we're at if you want to come to our meetups. Mm -hmm. And I know there's also, there are all kinds, even for whatever location you're in, whatever city, if you're in like, and I'm just throwing some out there, I don't know for sure whether there are ones or not, but um, I'm sure like, if you were to type in like Boston Lolitas or Cincinnati Lolitas, there's probably going to be a group for whatever city you're in. So if you're sitting there right now being like, oh my gosh, I want to go to a meetup now, Type in your city into Facebook and type in like your city and then Lolitas or blank city Lolita group. There's probably going to be something they can, the administrator can add you, just, you know, request them if you need to or whatever. And you can get started on that as soon as possible. I found mine through Tumblr and here we are. <laughs> Yeah, I actually found our group through EGL. Um, I saw that they were saying the Midwest girls are all on Facebook now, so I went to Facebook and I looked for them and there was a Kansas City group, so that's where I joined. Um, but yeah, if you don't find anything through your own searches, you can check with EGL. Um, I know that a lot of girls are pretty in the know about where community boundaries kind of lie and who's where, so that's also a good resource for you. Um, <clears throat> but I do think they have a memories page for that as well, so check there before you ask so that your question isn't already answered somewhere else. Um, lastly, if you're nervous about going to a meetup, um, that's just something you've kind of got to get over. Um, I know that sounds sort of blunt, but... But we've all been there. We've all been there. <laughs> it's really not that bad. I, I haven't met anyone that has been rude to me. Um, and on top of that, when you're in a group of Lolitas, it makes it easier to wear the fashion because mm -hmm. you're in sort of a safe place. So even if someone does come up to you and they ask you, like, what are you guys doing? Like, you've got an army with you. They're probably not going to be that rude and if they are like you guys are gonna outnumber them so it's it's a great opportunity to gain some confidence wearing Lolita if you're not confident enough to just do it on your own do it with a group of people and see how you feel then um, you can move up to wearing it on your own without a big group of other Lolitas to protect you so you know just give it a shot I mean if you don't end up liking it you don't have to go back they're not <laughs> We're not gonna hunt you down. We're not. The We're not gonna hunt you down and beat you with parasols. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all of our advice on meetups and meetup etiquette. If you have any other questions, do let us know, and we will be happy to answer them. Um, and if you're ever in the Midwest, let us know, and we would be happy to have you attend one of our meetups. Bye. Bye. And if you're ever in the Midwest, do let us know, and we'd be happy to. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bye, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I didn't lick my finger. You should have. It's hot in here. <laughs> I feel like I need to leave. Okay. Advice on meetups and etiquette when you do attend a meetup. God damn. <laughs> Tell, talk to me about puppies. <laughs> Questions, do let us know and we'll be happy to answer them. <laughs>
problem. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna wait. Hey, life. <laughs>